Hi guys, it's Russell here, the Prezi guy, with part two of how to insert media into Prezi. This is part of the Prezi for Beginners playlist on the Prezi Tutorials YouTube channel that you're watching this on right now. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos, then please go back to the beginning of the playlist and start there. You need to really ground yourself, first of all, in how to think for Prezi, how to plan your Prezi, and then how to get started with the software in the most logical way. So if you have done all that, let's take up where we left off in the last video and look at the other options we have for inserting media. Let's get going. Okay, so this is exactly where we left off in our last session. We ended up uh, with a really nice view of the world map with a few areas that we could zoom into. You may have populated these with more content. I'm just picking up where I left off from the last video. So if you have populated these even more on your own version of this Prezi, that's great. If you haven't made a copy of this Prezi yet, then you can go to the comments below the video and actually click on a link to give you an exact replica of this Prezi that we're looking at right now. So let's go back to the area that I was in and let's add some more content. The very first thing I want to do is click on the insert menu. Now we covered off everything in the top half of this menu on the previous video apart from the PowerPoint option here on the right. Now this is pretty self-explanatory but I do shy away from mentioning it too much to people when I'm training them on how to use Prezi and the reason for that is quite simple. I spend a lot of time trying to help people unlearn the PowerPoint mindset to break out of the slide by slide way of thinking. So when you insert a PowerPoint file, sometimes it can be really, really tempting to just switch straight back into that slide one, slide two, slide three, and so on mode again. Um, it is a very simple feature though. All you have to do is upload your file here. I'm not gonna do this because all of the PowerPoint files I have are uh, probably from my clients and I should not share them on a YouTube uh, video. But if you've got a PowerPoint file, just click upload. You'll see all of your slides appear on the right hand side of your screen. You can drag and drop individual slides if you want to. But if you do that, please do not try to fall back into the slide by slide way of thinking. That is not gonna help you at all when it comes to mastering Prezi. Okay, let's look at the bottom row then. In our previous video, we did look at this shapes option, but we'll just touch on it again. So really, really basic shapes in this list. One of the things that I've been asking Prezi to do for a long time now is to increase the amount of shapes that they have. Um, it's getting a little bit dated now, the fact you really only have four shapes to choose from. But it's very simple, just drag and drop, and then you can resize these uh, and make them bigger or smaller. Really, really simple. And again, the sub menu is at the top, so I can change the color of things. I can change the opacity. Maybe I could uh, give this square a nice linear gradient instead of just a flat white square. So there's a lot of things you can do, but nevertheless, a very, very basic feature. Back in insert, same thing is true for arrows and lines. Very, very basic, of course. You've got lines here on the left-hand side in five different colors. And on the right, you've got arrows in five different colors. Um, very simple, drag and drop. One nice thing worth mentioning is that you can grab the anchor point in the center of a line or an arrow to give it a curve. So that can be quite useful. And in terms of sub menu items at the top here, we can change the thickness of the line if we want to. We could make it really, really fat or really thin. But again, very, very basic feature, but nice to know it's there. Along the bottom of this row as well, we can choose the PDF option. Now, this is a useful one, of course, if you're dropping in um, PDFs, maybe you've got printed reports that are in PDF format, things like that. Um, I'll just upload a uh, PDF from my machine here. So I have a PDF of a small promotion that we were running this year. And you'll see as I do that, there should only be a couple of pages. There we go. 
So those two pages are loaded on the right hand side for me now. Uh, page one of your PDF will always automatically drop onto your Prezi canvas for you. And just like everything else, I can resize that and place it wherever I want. But if there were more pages, I could actually select those here on the left. So maybe I want that one, page two as well. If I had 100 pages, I could go through and individually drop on those pages. So you don't have to add every single page from a PDF, but really, really good thing to do. And you can see that it actually keeps the quality of a PDF very, very nicely for you as well. So definitely a good option. There we go. I'm going to delete my PDF and get rid of that option on the right and focus on the next feature, which is audio. Now, audio is something that really doesn't get used enough, but I'm hoping that given the current circumstances that we're in, so this video is being made at the time of the COVID pandemic, and everyone is presenting more and more online and trying to share their messages online, audio be can become a really, really amazingly useful feature um, for doing just that. So if I click on the audio option, You'll see on the right hand side here, I can upload an audio file. So that can be an MP3. Um, I record that file outside of Prezi, so I can't really give you any advice on that. Um, the only thing I can say is that when I record audio myself, I will either use a really simple app on my iPhone or I'll use a um, very inexpensive microphone that I bought from Amazon. It's a, a snowball called a blue snowball worth having a little look at on Amazon if you want a decent microphone. Um, I will plug that into my laptop. I will record some audio, save it as an MP3 outside of Prezi and then use this feature to bring it through. Now what that means is if I share my Prezi and we're going to look at sharing uh, your Prezi's on the next and final video in this series. But when I share my Prezi online with people, as they click through it in their own time, the audio clips will play at the specific pages I've added them to. So you can have you can add as many audio clips as you want to. They won't all play at once. They will only play when you get to a specific page or wherever you've added that audio clip. So really, really amazingly useful feature. I'd really encourage you to explore using that and trying to give your Prezi presentations more of a shelf life. Prezi doesn't just have to be delivered to a live audience in person. You can share Prezi's very easily and we're going to cover that on the next video. Now a feature I really love is the charts feature. And over here on the right hand side, you can see that there are a few different chart types to choose from. I'm going to use the simple line chart. There we go. And I'm going to just drag and drop that line chart onto my canvas. Now, of course, the data that goes onto that line chart will be completely random to start with. And if I press the edit chart button up in the top left hand corner, one thing that I can do is change the look and feel of the chart, but of course, more importantly than that, I want to be able to edit the data. So if I click edit data up here in the top right, I can either manually do this if, uh, if you're that way inclined, or you can of course upload a file. So you can upload uh, an Excel document in CSV or XLS format, upload your data and populate this with the relevant data that you need. Then go to settings and change the look and feel. So I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to this. I like to spend an awful lot of time changing how my charts look. Um, I want to have smooth curves instead of jagged curves because that's just how I roll. Um, and I want to change a few other things about that. I probably won't get too carried away on this right now, but you get the idea. We can change the look and feel of the legend, the colors that are being used. We could just have one color if we want to. Um, it's really, really nice to be able to edit the chart as much as we want to or need to. And I'm going to click update and just go back to my page. All of those changes will be put in place straight away. Now, one thing I want to mention, and I'm hoping that some of you out there will already be thinking this, uh, based on what we looked at in our last video with the animation feature, 
we took a map of the world and we added animations to zoom into countries. Now I want you to apply that same mindset to your data because let's face it, staring at a chart like that for 20 minutes, even for five minutes is pretty dull. So what we can do is click on animation, press the plus sign, uh, add a zoom area, and we could actually take our audience into the data. So if we look at the data itself, there's an interesting point here where the data uh, for, I think it was China and uh, Europe originally, I can't remember, but those two data streams cross over. So I've just added a zoom area onto that, and then I'm gonna add a zoom out to page, and I'm gonna hit the present button so you can see what that does. If I click through this, we zoom in on the data. So we make it more interesting for people. We can add more imagery here. We could add video, facts, figures, you name it. We can drop it on here and then we can come back out. So with Prezi, you no longer need to just show a huge amount of data for any longer than one minute. Take your audience into the data make that data tell a meaningful story and have it really engage your audience. That's what Prezi is all about. Changing the presentation game from just slide after slide after slide to engaging your audience with a really visual story. That's what Prezi is all about. If you want to master Prezi, it's mastering that mindset that's going to help you do it. That's going to wow your audiences and make you and your content way more memorable than anyone else they might have seen a presentation from this year. Okay, let's move on to video, which is the next option in the insert menu here. Now to do this, I'm actually gonna backtrack a little bit. I wanna go back to my world map. If you remember on the previous video, we zoomed into this part of the world. I won't even try and guess um, because my geography is terrible, but we had a nice image of a tur turtle. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could add a video of a turtle instead that would bring it to life that little bit more for the audience so I'm going to delete that image I'm going to go to my insert menu here at the top click on video and over here on the right hand side there's a few things I can do I can add a video from my library so remember the library feature that we looked at on the previous video I can upload a video of my own which is what I'm going to do in a minute or I can embed a YouTube video. Now for YouTube videos, you just need to go to the YouTube website, find the video that you like, copy the web address or the URL from the top of the screen and paste it into here. Once you do that, your video will appear and it will only play if you have an internet connection. That's really, really important to mention. Now I'm gonna upload a video of my own. I'm going to go to my downloads folder And here's an MP4 file that I got from a really amazing website called Pexels. So it's P-E-X-E-L-S. And on that website, they have tons of amazing free video content. So this video will load up. And once it's loaded there, you can see that it's uh, just a black rectangle for now. But if I go to the insert menu and back to animations, what we should see at the very bottom of our animations list is the zoom to video. Now, whenever you add a video, whether it's from YouTube or a video of your own, it will always add an animation so that Prezi knows to zoom in and play that video. But of course, the danger here is it's in the wrong position. So I actually just need to drag this video up to the top so that it's by the fade in option. So we zoom in, we fade in the 200, and then we're gonna to zoom to the video and have that play. So that looks something like this. Let's go and present this. Let's zoom in, reveal 200%, and then right click for the video to play. Really amazing video, wow. Wow, I could have watched that video forever. How fantastic was that? So 
Very, very easy to add video into your Prezies. And like I mentioned, if you want great video content, you can go to pexels.com, which is P-E-X-E-L-S. I'll go to that website for you now. And then you can just click on videos here in the middle. I think I did a quick search for sea life. Yes, I did. There we go. There's that same video I used. So knock yourself out and grab as many free videos as you can from Pexels. Also great for images as well. Let's get back to our Prezi. So back in the insert menu, um, just two last features to mention from uh, here. The first one is a commenting tool. So you can click comment and of course leave comments. Now this isn't very useful at the moment because I'm the only person working in this Prezi and I haven't linked anyone else into it. So commenting becomes really, really useful if you're collaborating with people like I do with my team on a regular basis. We will start building Prezi's for clients and then we may need to get other designers involved or they might ask me to come in and proofread the design and just check it for any sort of grammatical errors, things like that. I can add comments to the Prezi that my team can then go away and action. So I will cover that again in the next video all about sharing and collaborating. Now the last feature to mention from the insert menu is the watermark option. And if you click on watermark, you can of course add your own logo. Now this feature will only be for paid Prezi users. So um, if you don't see this feature, or if you just have the Prezi logo in the bottom left hand corner, it may be that you don't have the right privileges to be able to add your own logo. So you will need to upgrade to a paid for license. I'm gonna click the upload logo option. And on my desktop here, I have my company logo. Click open. And this is a white version, so you actually can't see it. But what you can see down in the bottom left hand corner here is my company logo. And that means now if I go into present mode and just click around in the Prezi, that logo stays there the whole time. That is the watermark for my presentation. And it means my brand is there at all times. So hopefully guys, that's given you all that you need to be able to insert content into Prezi and shown you a couple of ways that you can navigate around and play with that content and really bring it to life much more inside the Prezi software. The next video, we're gonna look at collaborating and sharing your Prezi. Also how to download your Prezi so that you can have a completely offline version should you need to. As always, if you've really enjoyed this video, if you feel like following this playlist through has really enabled you to get much better at using Prezi and you feel more confident, then please hit that thumbs up button, hit the like button, hit the share button, let everyone know about this channel, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you on the next video.